I do folks, how are you doing? Just a quick one. <laughs> I thought we'd today we'd have a little chat about acquiescence. <laughs> My favourite term. Um, because at the end of the day, acquiescence, it can either be your best friend or your worst nightmare, depending on whether you're using it against somebody or whether you're slipping into it. Um, it's quite important to uh, have that distinction and know exactly what it is you're doing uh, which is why like I say to everybody the, the DSARs and such like that uh, that I use pretty much with everything nowadays is is not because a DSAR is powerful because it is it's just because it's the perfect tool to get them in default quickly it really is they uh, they will acquiesce every time when you ask the right questions because they can't it's going to expose the fraud they start answering the questions that you're going to ask it will expose the fraud and then uh, then they lose obviously but then they lose gloriously by admitting fraud which they're not going to do or they could go into acquiescence and if you're one of that one percent or half a percent that had point uh, that had, uh, actually follow through then they will just lose by acquiescence they haven't admitted fraud even though fraud will be stated and evidenced but they haven't admitted it and that seems to be enough for them <laughs> somehow in this wonky old world so uh, but it, but if you're the one slipping into acquiescence um, you're getting yourself into dodgy ground now initially you can say you lose immediately if you're going to acquiesce but there are circumstances where you acquiesce and you can recover it and there's certain times when you've acquiesced and maybe you've acquiesced on purpose giving extra time that you didn't need to uh, either way unfortunately if, if you don't go forward it's acquiescence and when you acquiesce you're, you're weakening not strengthening your case always so usually you would lose automatically by default because you left the battlefield first um, but the reality is even if you had intentions to one day and and trust me when i say uh, it's not always down to stupidity i know my favorite saying is people are stupid uh, and as a rule yes they show you every day they are but uh but even the, even the the big boys can acquiesce I get so busy that I can acquiesce to something of my own because I'm so busy dealing with other shit uh, and so can other folks we get really busy and sometimes in our lives folks could just get uh, a little bit complacent or it can slip I wouldn't say slip the mind because you always remember that it's there but the importance of how important it is to get it out as early as possible slips you're going to do it tomorrow or next week and the week after and such like you just got to remember there is a very very good reason why the law allots them a certain amount of time to answer these things be it a DSAR um, at 28 days an affidavit of truth or, uh, or a notice and whatever you've put in there if you're putting down to 14 days if, if they're your terms and that's what you're stating uh, you're a man or a woman so uh, it is what it is but there is a there is a reason the law allot them a certain amount of time and that is because after that amount of time they've lost and and that is it that's their opportunity and and the law kind of gives them that opportunity or you that opportunity really in all honesty the whole system is set up to screw you not them so the law really giving you the opportunity to, to come forward and if you don't you lose by default because you left the battlefield first so this is the same when you use it against them whoever them are the agents of doom whoever are coming for you whoever trying to bring up a, a claim to you in the administration process uh, you bring it on them first <clears throat> you give them the allotted time and then you take the next step and then the next step and the next step I've said it enough times and then you uh, you take it through to court for a judgment now this is another thing where acquiescence comes in but it's not always acquiescence as such because as I see it many many folks have seen over many many years the notices have been quite fine when you're saying go away you're getting rid of them and in all honesty if you if you're going to hit them with the notices you will get them uh, if you're standing correctly as a man or a woman but they're tenacious 
and it is absolutely ridiculous how far they will go and they're showing us time and time again especially after with the debts after the new uh, powers they were given uh, after the covid fake um distraction so i would say for debts they made everybody believe that all of a sudden debts were not going to be collected they, <laughs> put a cease and desist and stop order on the bailiffs from doing their daily duties <laughs> so everybody went yeah let's go and spend all our money uh, we don't have to pay that anymore and well, not that you did anyway but if you thought you did then you did <clears throat> but it got everybody right in the ship because when the government opened it back up again and said now go get them dogs they gave them sharpened teeth didn't they they gave them a bit more a bit more power assumed power and, uh, and folks are going to acquiesce to their rights and it's going to all happen again. They get control, they decide they come in knocking on your door, your life's ruined, one way or the other. Whether you're going to be constantly battling at something, sorry, I think I'm getting a bit of a fever in that eye, or, or is it the Delta variant? <laughs> the Delta crop. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, anyway, it is what it is. They uh, they get tenacious and they got more powers and they're gonna come for you and they're gonna cause you fucking hell and they're gonna uh, ruin your life if you let them. And that all comes down to acquiescence. And it don't matter whether it's a debt collector or or an agent of doom or any or a court case or it doesn't matter what it is. It just doesn't. And I say it over and over again. It's all the fucking same. It's all the same. It's all the same. It's a false claim coming at you in Admiralty, just attaching you to fines and forfeitures or whatever the hell they're trying to get out of you in an a administration process where you are consenting to their rules. That's why you're going to pay. And you are going to pay because you're consenting to the rules. You're not, you're not getting out there to sort your status. You're not getting your separations from your assets. You're not sorting yourself out. You're not learning how to stand up to these these entities. You're not, uh, or, or you are, and you're going down the wrong road. And and this is something, it, it does bother me and it saddens me to a great degree because I used to just shrug it off and laugh and say, well, it is what it is. I try and tell everybody. Excuse me. But there are, there are lots and lots getting suckered in. And the worse things get, and the more people get this realization they need to sort themselves out, the more these, uh, these Pied Pipers are stepping up the game and they're, they're casting the nets and they're catching the people. And it all sounds fantastic, and I know it does, it's supposed to. And it uses all sorts of stuff in law that, that's, that are right, and you look at it, yeah, that's absolutely bang right, so it must be right. But not everything they say, because they use some things in law, or they let some things slip through. Don't forget, if it's a shill organisation who are affiliated with the entities that are perpetrating, perpetrating all this, um, then uh, you've got to understand they do have the ability to, to back these things up with a couple of wins somewhere maybe and make people say, yeah that's definite or you've just got these idiots saying yes I won this and nobody really knows do they at the end of the day let's face it any well I wouldn't say anybody because I'm bloody useless at that sort of shit but anybody who knows anything about Photoshop can create absolutely anything and say look what I've done look what I've got so just beware of everything not all evidence presented to you can be evidence so I'm not aiming that at anybody at all that's just a generalization thing out there you cannot trust fucking anything anything but your own personal experience and personal experience isn't i uh, watched this video <laughs> you can't believe folks you can't believe me don't believe anybody and i don't care i don't care if people say so i won't believe you then don't believe me if that teaches you to believe you then go and believe you you due diligence I do not care if I have one person listening to me or 20 and ignore the word person or don't. I don't care. I don't stand on semantics. Um, we are men and women and we just chat. And, and anybody playing the semantics and word games in everyday talking is an idiot. Because at the end of the day, that's what you, you're reserving for your paperwork. That's what you're reserving for them. But in everyday life, since the minute we, we could speak, we were... We were saying what we were taught to say. We were saying words. And although 
I say words are spells. Yes, they are when used with intent, but when you're just talking and chewing the fat, it doesn't matter a shit. It doesn't matter one hoot. So all these idiots that try and pull you up on your word games, unless you're talking and having a discussion about something in particular, when uh, when they're saying something, and they, or you're saying something, and it'll get you into trouble, and they're correcting you for that reason. But if you're just chatting, and people are just, oh no, you can't say that, you can't say understand. Why? Because we all understand that the word understand means comprehend. And that's how we're using it. We wouldn't use it to the police. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't use it in court, but when we're talking to Betty and Bert, we might. <laughs> so, so listen, semantics. Don't get I'm bouncing again, aren't I? Don't get wrapped up in semantics. Just the most important thing is acquiescence and and getting it from both sides and and knowing which side of the fence you're on with this acquiescence. You've got to get things moving because, as we're seeing. As time's moving on, the agenda's moving on, things are getting worse, things are getting tighter, this, the system's getting more tyrannical, and they're certainly, certainly digging the teeth in a bit tighter. They're not letting go when they used to let go, which means you have to step it up. And the old days of templates, as great as they were in the day, I, many folks know I've done loads of them, I've said it before, wrote loads of them, um, but it's just not the same anymore. A template doesn't cut it because a template can work every single time if you've got the knowledge to back it up but a template nowadays just either gets a response or no response and they carry on so how do you handle that what are you doing how do you move forward you've got to not only stand your ground nowadays it used to be just stand your ground it isn't just standing your ground anymore you've got to keep taking ground you've got to keep moving forward you have to and you've got a prescribed process where you do this today, in 28 days you do that, in 14 days you do that, seven days you do that, three days you do that, and then you put it into court. <laughs> or you can change those dates if you're standing as a man, however you're going, you can put your, your times however you want. I wouldn't say uh, you can get silly about it, but if you want to go 14s, you can go 14s. Who can deny you justice on this? Anybody denying you justice is going to have to answer to that. And, and semantics, again, do not count. You don't accept semantics. That isn't law. Semantics is not law. Law is right and wrong. Equity. Equity. If we're not doing equity, then we shouldn't be doing it at all. So, uh, it is what it is. That's what we've got to be doing. As men and women bring claims, or if you've not gone that far, even as your, your legal fiction, bring a claim. Just try it. These things, uh, I wouldn't say jump in the deep end at the, the hot potatoes. There's plenty of small ass claims out there. Plenty of little things like speedings or parkings or things like that. You try and bring your own claims on and just try and cut your teeth on it. Whereas, let's face it, if it's a parking ticket, you're going to try and do this. You're going to try and hit them with a, a, uh, a notice, an opportunity to secure a default, an affidavit and a court process. Now you set your dates out, so you know these are your dates, so don't go over them because you're just giving them more time to piss you about. Uh, you just stick to your dates, do what you've got to do on your dates, follow it through, and let's face it, if you lose, what you lost, a parking ticket, what would you do? So don't think straight away, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a pop at this, I'm going for council tax, because yeah, they'll send me to prison. I don't know if they still do send people to prison, actually. There's no reason for anybody to be paying it, but... <laughs> It is what it is, but I know they used to send people to prison for it. If they still do, then it's your consent. Um, but at the end of the day, just try things out on the little things that you have. Anything, anything small that's not going to hurt if you lose a few quid if you lose, and then you can offset it anyway. <laughs> if you le just learn different processes, there's more, always more to learn. And I know I chuckle and. <laughs> I don't mean it to be condescending, I really don't. But it is quite amusing when I think about the fact that you could do this and if you lost, well, you could just do that then. And then if you lost, you could just do that. <laughs> so the fact is, the law's always on your side because that's unlawful. So, uh, and what they do is unlawful. Legal is always unlawful. It's undoing of God's law. So, uh, 
just just learn these things learn learn little bits every day just tiny little bits it don't matter what you learn just learn one thing um yeah statues a legislative rule of society given force by the rule uh, by the consent of the governed that there is obviously it's a rule it's not a law and it gives by your consent <laughs> so are you governed if you governed then you gave consent I'm not but I'm self-governing so it's not like you can be an asshole it's not like no laws exist I'm above the law because you're not in absolute you're not you're standing on her all the time you are within the boundaries of the law all the time everything you do is lawful and you know this because you've done your own due diligence and you know that they're legal didn't actually cover the fact that you're doing this lawful you're not doing it in the terminology that they say and terminology is semantics because what I'm doing I'm going down the road in my motor and that's all I'm doing and and if I said to you I'm driving in my vehicle I'd still be going down the road in my motor and it's fucking semantics and I don't care I wouldn't say it in a court I would argue I'm not in a court but if I was talking to my mate and I slipped out the word vehicle it's the mildest form of cognitive dissonance that we all suffer from and and trust me we all do suffer from cognitive dissonance and and I do as well massively in, in a lot of ways we all do there's no way in the world there's anybody you'll find that has no cognitive dissonance at all was born into this world and, and it was bred into us by our, our families, our parents to start off with. Then they palmed us off to the indoctrination camps because cognitive dissonance told them to. So uh, off we went there and they finished the job off. We went into our working life and then we're going and signing up for taxes and all this called cognitive dissonance. I've said before in a video, I can remember from being a child, my old man explaining to me that uh, a person and a man wasn't the same thing. He had no fucking clue what it meant and now he's disowned me because I do. Not <laughs> that's just families. Uh, I'm woke, it don't work. You can't have families when you're woke. But uh, I remember him saying that and I also remember one time him waving his tax bill around going, what's that bloody say? Voluntary contribution down the middle. And it was like that, all the way across the middle. And, and cognitive dissonance, yeah. He, I can remember as a kid him shouting it out. Well, how can they say that? Well, rather than ask your fucking ten-year-old son, why didn't you ask the government? <laughs> or the tax man, should I say? Ask the fucking tax man. Because you know something? The tax man has no teeth. Oh, we're bouncing again. And I always say, the tax man has no, no teeth. No teeth at all. Unless you've made the mistake of, uh, of slipping into fraud with him, and you've you've evaded your tax responsibilities then he has no teeth obviously if you've done that he's got some teeth but if he's if he's done that what that actually means is you've entered a contract with him to and you're telling him that you're going to pay him a percentage of what you earn you earned more didn't tell him what you earned extra but you was in a contract but you paid him something which wasn't quite that now that's breach of terms so you broke the terms you're in default <laughs> and he'll bring you in for an interview and you'll try and make excuses and lie and he'll have already had the facts before you're even sat down and he's got you he's absolutely got you so uh, that's that's tax other than that there has never 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 ever ever in history been anybody taken to court or a court case actually brought forward for not paying taxes Quite definitively, not paying taxes, not going to the taxman saying I'm going to pay you some tax and just not paying him. Me, for instance, <laughs> great example all my life. Live my life, never had a contract with a fella. Why would I want a contract with a fella? Not going to have a contract with a fella. Simple as that. Never had a knock on the door from the fella. Never had a letter from the fella. Simple as that. I haven't always lived off grid. I used to live in the house. Never had a contract with a fella. I made my own money, my own ways, and it was none of their business. It was mine. I didn't take th take from them. So uh, it was what it was. I was daft enough to pay electricity and water when I didn't realise that it wasn't theirs to sell you. But uh, that was another story. I suppose they're the only little contracts I was ever in. Paid a bit of electricity and water at some point in my life. But then realised you didn't have to do that. <laughs> 
it's uh, it's a wonky old world but it's not about it's nothing is ever about getting away with it's really not it's learning that there's a fraud going on and it's it's learning that for years you've been getting defrauded they've been taking from you for years something that you did not have any lawful obligation to pay now you can butter that up in any fucking word you like but that's only one thing to me theft simple as that absolute theft now when you think about say the tax man as i say he's got no teeth remember he's got no teeth so if you're just exchanging your sweat equity for fair remuneration and you're not in a contract with him or you've ended the contract that he believes he had with you that's the important thing end contract same with your electricity and your water and stuff don't just think you can not pay things you've got to end the contract get them out first and then they're trying to get back in they can't come back in that shit's over but anyway it has no teeth where was i with that one boing 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 we have to be aware of that don't we so uh yeah so anyway he's I'm, i don't even know where we were and where we're coming back in but he's got no teeth it's coming for you and uh you're just going to give him a few questions he goes away he comes back in a few months and this is really quite consistent he comes back in a few months and he might offer you a a uh, bankruptcy he might just say you got to pay this and you, you give him a cease and desist and tell him he has no consent you're not going forward blah, 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 and remind him what the the DSAR was he goes away um, but however if you turned it around a new way like we're discussing now and what we're doing now bringing claims instead of just getting rid it was always it was always good enough just to get rid of them but looking back maybe this was even one of my big mistakes from the past because yes I was well happy to get them out of your life because I wanted that one so I'm on to the next all the time anyway get them all gone but now we're seeing how easy it is to actually initiate these claims and the fact that the courts are actually accepting these claims into courts um, and some of the claims are quite big that were being tested that are being tested at the minute and, and getting on quite well it kind of shows us that that is the answer to them stepping up their game and, and we've been saying it for a bit now anyway step up your game and get judgments on them but it's not just important now it's imperative because they are going to keep coming for you unless you've got more tenacity and more knowledge than them and you're not going to waver and you are going to grind them down and eventually they will piss off no matter how far they go um, but if you're going to actually deal with it, you can take them and make some money back on just a simple claims process. That is the way forward. Now, as now this has moved on, and this is the real important thing as well with watching videos, and I don't mean anybody's in particular, mine as well as anybody else's. If you're watching older videos, you've got to remember, we, whoever it is that's told, uh, given them videos, are talking old process and things move on. So you do have to kind of stay with the times as well and keep up. You shouldn't have to keep up with me because I keep fucking bouncing. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> it is really important to keep up with new processes because new processes do come out every now and again. And a lot of these new processes are real game changers. They really are. And the new processes that are coming, especially shortly, they are real game changers. And they're going to show you that you can go for them in a short time. You can not only take them down, you can get the money off them. But now, just imagine, just for a minute, if you if you knew a really simple process to take the tax man to court on, to prove tax was unlawful. <laughs> just think for one minute. When you get judgment, and I say when you get judgment, because you absolutely will, because they can't prove that you must pay income tax. They cannot prove this. You can prove that you do not have any lawful obligation to pay this. So you are going to win. Well, once you win, and I don't know how old you are and how long you've been playing this game, but I'll be looking that as more along the lines of an investment, because uh, you have a claim there for everything that you've ever paid them because you got, just got judgment on the fact it was unlawful. Now everything they ever took off you was unlawful. Give it me back, thank you very much. <laughs> Cha ching ching. <laughs> hey, just, just spitballing there. That's just from the top of my head, the shit that goes in and comes back out another way. <laughs> but 
you never know now it's come out that way maybe that'll be a process run in the future there are a few processes with a taxman and i've got a couple of folks talking to me about taxman at the minute and i just say like i say to everybody all those sort of things just hold off at the minute because there is a website coming going to be disclosed very soon and and seriously i've been last night i think three or four new processes went into it and it's shit's happening shit's happening folks and these new processors and they're about taking them down now they're about going after them and they're about ending the situation there's no point anymore in reading a notice and going away with this notice you need to know what to do after that notice and you need to know what your next stage is and how to do your next stage and and the next stage after that and the next stage after that and then when you've got this all down and you've gone through you need to know how to take it into court because otherwise I, I've seen it so many times folks are sitting there just going I don't get it I don't get it because how does it go from a piece of paper into court I know I get it and I'm not asking you <laughs> asking you advice there how do I take it in <laughs> but, uh, but the reality is all this process is coming very very soon so all the ones that are asking me about courts at the minute please do just hold off a little while now I know your shit's important but it's so important that all of these processes that we're doing are put together on this website and get out there and at the minute it's just so stepping up the amount of folks that have got problems not that it's the, it's the people's fault it's the uh, system the world it's gearing up but as you watch back on my videos I was saying it's coming don't you tell <laughs> it's just shit's happening folks and we're still in year one you may class it as year two but I'm still saying it's year one <laughs> that last year was just a, a warm up <laughs> you wait for what's to come anyway folks it is what it is but I just wanted to bring this one to you because acquiescence and 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 which side of the fence of acquiescence you're on and fully comprehending that because it's really important because sometimes you might think they're acquiescing but actually you're acquiescing as well and although equity knows no time it also only aids the vigilant so this conflicting maxims of law on uh, dragging your ass which one you're going to stand on can be thrown back they can just throw back the other one at you can't they so uh, don't drag your ass look at the times that are allotted by the law or, or their legal system you're holding them to their legal system to be on the safe side as you're holding them to their legal system give them the time that is allotted by their legal system and you're holding them under what they hold as laws that which they stand under so uh, if you give them that time as soon as that time's up make your next move and as soon as that time's up you make the following move and you do it just like it's on a calendar that day I do this that day I do this and that day I do that and don't waver from it because if you waver from it it don't matter how you butter it up you're acquiescing and, and even if it's not disaster it's never a good thing there's never a scenario where anybody's gonna look look more favorably on you because you acquiesced longer than you had to you had a certain amount they had a certain amount of time if you didn't jump the day after that that is acquiescence because as far as the law is concerned that's all you need that was it this is the point now they broke the law now you can come forward so you come forward straight away don't acquiesce don't be scared don't be scared of doing something you cannot get into trouble by bringing a claim if you bring a claim as long as you're not being an absolute asshole and making up stories but if you bring what you believe to be a genuine claim you can't be uh, you can't be penalized for that so uh, bring your claim give it a go try with the little things try with judgment only with n1s before you move on to n n208 if you want um, before you start spending a bit but uh, up to you see how it's done do a bit of study on how it's done your due diligence and then have a pop have a pop <laughs> so like I say anyway these processes are coming very 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 soon I'm not going to tell you two weeks although if you ask me I'll tell you two weeks but I'm hoping I'm hoping sooner we're going to get done as soon as soon as possible but <laughs> you know how it is 
loads loads is going into it over the next few days anyway and uh yeah we'll see we'll see tune in tune in people keep saying to me when's it opening and we will tell you where we're going to find out here <laughs> wonky world wherever around the internet it reverberates who knows who knows where it goes word travels fast so uh <laughs> look for anybody calling gumshoe a cunt <laughs> <laughs> You'll find somebody jealous there, sat there. <laughs> so anyway, um, just uh, keep your ears out. You will see it, you will hear it, and I'll let you know, obviously. Come on in and see what's what. For now, I'm cracking on. You have a great rest of your day. And uh, don't acquiesce. Stop dragging your arse. Get yourself a good kick up the arse. And if you can't do that, go and stand in the corner and have a word with yourself. Have a good one. Ta-da.